Now, Security Breach was an obvious disappointment in the eyes of many people. People know that already, though. But one of the reasons people have for disliking Security Breach I want to talk about today is the lack of horror. Security Breach is an obvious case of the modern indie horror kitty game where it's too tame and clean and too appealing for a younger audience to properly fulfill the requirements of a horror game. Whether that be the bright colors in its environment, removal of voice lines that mention blood or violence, or hell, even the fact that the animatronics in this game have personalities. However, despite all of that, I can say that there are certain parts in Security Breach that can be perceived as horror. Only a few, mind you, but they're there. The daycare section, the endo section, despite that being an obvious clone of T-Jock Basement, mode, some characters like Burntrap and the Blob admittedly having designs that are meant to serve as scary rather than the typical clean appeal seen throughout most of the game. With all of this though, there is a single aspect about Security Breach that I actually consider both scary and genius. It's very underrated, overlooked, and often overhated as an aspect, and that aspect are a certain group of animatronics. That game being the staff bots, the shattered animatronics. Now, I've seen some people give these variants flack online for being forced creepiness, ripping off the withers too, but honestly, I see these guys in a completely different way that is most definitely intended to be the case in the game. And this different viewpoint honestly makes them more terrifying than initially seeing them in action in the game, even besides that the designs, in my opinion, are honestly cool. If you don't mind, let me make you think of a hypothetical situation real quick. Imagine you and your favorite thing, whatever that might be. Your ice cream, your pizza, your toy, your dildo perhaps, I don't know. But either way, whatever it is, imagine if that was taken away from you. You lost that favorite thing. Now you're upset, perhaps even angry. Well, this feeling is perfectly replicated in the Shattered animatronics, and their anger from it is enough for them to kill you even more. Shattered Roxy, Shattered Monty, and Shattered Glamrock Chica, all three of them had what made them special and unique initially ripped away from them. Roxy's eyes, which was important to her as evident by her self-absorbed vanity personality, constantly looking at the mirror, valuing her looks, all of that. Monty was much of a fast runner, that is until that was ripped away from him too. And for Glamrock Chica, she loved eating, especially trash but since her beak has been stripped away from her, she can no longer do that. They all lost what they each personally considered special to them. They're all suffering their worst hell, and that to me is genuinely terrifying because of how twisted that is in concept. I wish Shattered Freddy appeared in the game outside of a promotional image because I'm curious how he would have lived up to this perfectly genius concept that Steve will add into their game that is otherwise just rushed, bland, and insulting. The Shattered animatronics are simply just the scariest part about Security Breach. 